Good afternoon. Thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. I'm Susan McCord. Today's topic is, am I in a one-sided relationship? Well, the chances are if you have to ask this question, you probably are. Because when you're on the same page in a partnership, things are pretty smooth. There's not a lot of unanswered questions because you communicate, you talk about things. You're sort of united in that sense where you don't let a lot of stuff go. A lot of people in the beginning of a new relationship, they don't have any of these talks because they're so afraid of scaring each other off that they let things slide. Unfortunately, in the first month or so when you are seeing somebody, this is the time to sort of understand if you have similar expectations, similar goals about what you want in your life going forward. Because if you're constantly choosing opposite people because you're not asking the right questions, you're not having those discussions, chances are you're going to end up meeting people that just aren't suitable for you long term. If the relationship is feeling one-sided, that's usually because you're not getting things met that you would like. So it could be simple things like just getting together and seeing each other on a regular basis. If somebody is finding reasons to be busy or always having excuses why they're not seeing you, you're definitely not on the same place or, or path of where you both want to be. They're enjoying you for that moment and when they see you, but they're not maybe looking for a serious relationship. This is the time you need to sit down and have a talk with them. Sometimes you don't even need to have a talk because once you start looking at the patterns and what's not happening between the two of you, you get it that they're not really there for the same reasons you are. And that's important to come to that conclusion, not just thinking, oh, maybe it'll change down the road. Because you know within the first couple of months whether things are, are in a good place, you're in sync, you're, everything's sort of just flowing between the two of you. If it's not, and you're sitting here taking a back seat to a lot of things, that's not the kind of relationship you want to end up in if you want a long-term commitment, which you do. So I, I really do talk to my clients about this, that it doesn't mean that you're being rejected or that you, you're wasting your time, but if you stay for like five years in this type of environment, you will be eventually putting energy into something that's not going to go into the place that you want it to go. So it's really imperative that you look at these things as soon as you possibly can. I don't mean be, you know, crazy, needy person and, you know, keep asking all those questions. You want things to sort of go in a normal pace, but you want to be able to see that they're happening. Things to look out for. Are they asking for more space? Do they only want to see you maybe once a week or maybe once every two weeks? And they're telling you how busy they always are. This is one thing that is a huge red flag if you're looking for a committed relationship. Because when someone is too busy, they're not prioritizing you. They're not into seeing you that much. And you want to be their, their person. You want to be the, the one that they call and want to see and can't wait to see again. You don't want to be sitting there on the sidelines and when they call you last minute to get together, you jump hoops to go see them. Because not only is that sort of diminishing your self-worth by being that person, it's giving them the option of having the best of both worlds being able to see you when they feel like it and being able to see other people or at least have other priorities that don't include you. Also, pay, pay close attention to the conversations you have. Is it sort of surface conversation or is there deep a deep connection? Are you guys having some really good discussions? Is it mostly a sexual relationship? Because that's another one. Are you there as their sexual partner and all the other things aren't really being met. That's a big one to look out for because that will tell you if they're just there for that particular reason. If you're able to sit down and have a normal date, have talks, sometimes you go home or they go home if you're not living together and you don't see each other or talk to each other for a couple of weeks, well that can be a big problem too because you don't know where you're going. You're not, your relationship isn't progressing or evolving. It's kind of stuck in a place of where you're not really happy being. 
So if you have to ask any time if your relationship is one-sided, have a chat with them about it. If they say to you, well, I'm just really not into the same things you're into, you have your answer. But sitting back trying to figure it out isn't really good either because you have a right to know if you're investing time with them. And I'm sure if you ask them, they will be honest with you because they're not going to want to be in a committed relationship if that's not where they, they are happy to be. They will let you know that. But a lot of the times we don't ask the questions that we should ask and we don't listen carefully to the answers. It's also really important to know when you're fantasizing over something that you hope will transpire, that you're waiting and hoping that this will come to the place you want it to be. If they give you the answer that you're not looking for, try not to take it as a rejection because we don't date everyone that we're necessarily going to marry. Sometimes it's just all about timing and where they are at the at that place and where you are. So please don't take that as rejection and move on and be upset about it. If you're true to yourself, you're honest with yourself about what's actually going on, you're not gonna spend two or three years trying to figure out if you're Miss, Mr. or Mrs. right now. You wanna know where you fit in, so ask the questions. Don't sit back and wait for a long time to try and figure out if you are important to that person or not. Thank you so much for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue today. I appreciate all my new subscribers and the comments I get. Please click like on the video today and send me any show topics you have. I'm always here to listen. Thanks so much, everyone. We'll see you next Wednesday.